Hit it. There we go. We're scanning. Look at this beast. It scared me. Okay. We're gonna get this and then we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Subnautica. I am so sorry about last episode and my audio being so low. I didn't even notice until I was editing. I tried turning it up in the editing and yeah, that was my bad. But if you guys were wondering here, I've learned some stuff, especially about some of these plants I have down in here. So apparently some of these plants I'm going to need very late endgame to craft something. So... I guess that's a good thing that I got a couple of them. I didn't even realize it. I was just grabbing the ones that look cool. So, but starting off here, I need to explain some stuff. And first off, we're going to explain what I've been doing here with the base. So, you may notice the base is being stripped. And the reason for this is because we are currently planning on making the Cyclops into a mobile base to head down. And, well, just because of that, I've decided that we probably don't need a bunch of stuff stored here. So, honestly, like, ripping up the storage and all that is probably not the best idea, but it is what I've been doing. So, I've been continuing to do it. And as you can see here, mostly what I've been doing is just transferring resources over and deconstructing storages. Now, we have all this over here. I need to get a lead storage real quick. So this is actually real simple. And as you can see, it's all organized too. It's all neatly organized. I made sure to keep it all organized. So we got looking there. We got quartz right here. Boom. And then salt over here. We can throw all the salt in there. Now titanium. Titanium is the one that we're stocking up on quick, which is a nice thing. But in terms of like actual stuff that we've been doing in here, I forgot a piece of titanium I needed. I was even coming up here to finish building that. But basically what we have done here is we, again, have not changed anything in here and all that. So that's the bridge, got the captain's room, and then we got our little work area. And this is also where we're going to be storing our food to grow. As you can see here, we've been just growing some lantern fruit and again, potatoes. Um, we are going to make a stop over at uh, the floating island. We're going to get another plant, a couple plants to throw over here. And those are going to be the the bulb trees. The ones that give us good, like, both water and food. Like, an, like a lot of it. Um, and I think I'm going to make, a, like, a large plot for them. But I really don't got a lot of space left. As you can see here, it's, it's starting to get a little cramped. As you may notice. Like... Wasn't expecting that. This here is, I'm gonna fill these with bladder fish for water, okay? So we're gonna have food all under control. Hopefully the bulb ones get under control, but we're gonna have a lot of bladder fish for emergency water supply. And well, down here, you may notice as well, I have made a charge room. This is just a, again, charge room. So what we are gonna be doing today is one of the upgrades that we need to go find for our, the Cyclops, in which I've looked where it is, and we can actually probably get it on our way there would be uh, the thermal reactor. So what that means is it's basically an upgrade that gives the Cyclops uh, the ability to charge off of ambient heat in the water. And I'm going to quickly give a shout out here to the person that told me this. All right, shout out to Agent Sapphire for letting me know about the thermal reactor here for the Cyclops. Okay, but anyways... As you may notice, I still have to do a little prepping. We have to get some decoys made up here as well. And those are, where are the decoys? They're in here, right? They might be down in tools. Huh. I thought decoy, you know what? Do I have to go craft decoys in the, what are they called? In the upgrade station over there for the... I'm just looking, I'm just, just checking everything, make sure. Deployables? Oh yeah, no, there we go. We need wiring kits? Oh, but we get three per. Okay, um, what do I need for a wiring kit? Silver, okay. 
And you may notice there as well, I do have the prawn suit marked. Well, that's another thing I'm going to try for today is the prawn suit. Now, I've not really gone and actually, like, worked towards it. What I've been working on here really is this. Um, do I have enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need one piece of lithium. Do I have it? Yes. And I'm going to have to do something about lithium. I'm actually short a piece of lithium. So, actually, never mind there. Uh, we almost had the whole upgrade. We were so close. We're one short, one lithium. Okay, uh, I did something here, and I'm surprised actually I have enough full strength left after it. Uh, I decreased one of my whole reinforcements in the base, so that way we could do this. Uh, it's just because we are going to need it for today, absolutely. So, get you crafted. Boom. Now, we will have to go get more lithium again for the prawn suit. Um, I don't know, though, if we're going to be able to get the prawn suit today. Now. And also, why did I leave? I need to go back in here. Also, we're not completely deconstructing the base. We're just taking all the really essential stuff. We're going to leave it behind, kind of running power and growing crops. And making water for us, at least. And, of course, it's going to have all our creatures, creatures stored up in there. I'm also sorry. The reefbacks are really loud today. So, I don't need that one. I need this one. And that is a Cyclops depth module. Boom. Okay. Now, technically, to upgrade this, it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, we actually have to go down. We're going to get nickel ore in the new area where we go to. But it's just another plasteel ingot. So. But with this, I do believe, if I just insert it like so. Bloop. 900 meters. We can go as far down as the Seamoth now. That is perfect. Now, what I think I'm going to do is... Do I got water on me? I do not. I'm going to go grab some water. I'm going to go stock up my bladder fish. And then we're going to go proceed to head and try and find the thermal upgrade. Now, I think I know where the thermal upgrade is. Or at least one spawn location of it. Alrighty guys, so I think I'm ready to go. I got all the water I need. I got torpedoes even loaded up in the sea moth now. If you were wondering what kind of torpedoes, they are the gasipide kind. I did not have enough magnetite, so see gas torpedoes. That's what I'm loaded with. I got two more gas gasopod things there. Um we are fully stocked. We got us a total of sixteen uh bladder fish in here. Um Hold up. Is this entire tank infected? It'll probably be fine. Not like everything else on this planet isn't already infected. Okay, so... I'm gonna tell you this. Prawn suit is probably off the menu for right now. But... What we'll do is we want it off the menu. Of, or, or the home screen, of course. So we'll unpin that. It's down here. So, boop. There. Again, we will build a prawn suit eventually. But what we are going to do right now is we're going to go and find us that thermal upgrade. Luckily for me, though, it honestly is not that far. Alrighty. So we are here at the first wreckage site inside the Grand Reef. Now, this one is probably the absolute safest one. There's no ghost reapers near, or ghost leviathans nearby. Not ghost reapers. All Damn. Those sound more terrifying. But, yeah. Um, there's none of those around. What we are dealing with here, though, is that. I don't know how to get into this. Now, there are, of course, several holes, of course, punched in the hole. Um... But we're kind of looking for a data pad. Now, I don't know where the data pad is. Now, I'm pretty sure, yes, it is inside of here. Um, we got two prawn suit mining arms there. Now, I'm just trying to make sure that there's none nearby. And we do have, uh, what are they called? Those weird guys nearby. The ones that teleport and pull us out. I can't remember what they're called. 
Um, but apparently we do now got the fragments for the drills, the drill arms for the prawn suit. That's awesome. Thermal plant blueprint. We already have that. Um, I need to We need to find the hole to get inside this wreckage. Now, it might be a cut door where we have to cut our way in. Um. In which... It's not. Uh-oh. Ooh. I don't like this one bit. Okay, I need my laser cutter. We're gonna cut this door open. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! The warper! The warper just attacked me. I'm gonna reset my oxygen and go back in. I can't believe that thing just attacked me like that. Okay. We were almost through the door too. He's gonna pull me again, watch. I know it, it's just because I'm not moving. Why isn't the door cutting? Oh, the power's out. I ran out of power in my cutter. Okay, this is what we need to do. Go. Not that. We need to hop back in the Seamoth. And we already know where we need to go to get in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just quickly do... Is that a reactor part? If that's for the reactor, it's probably not. It's probably for the thermal plant. Yeah, we don't need anything for the thermal plant. Okay. We need to dock the Seamoth. Or we need to dock the Seamoth. Okay, Seamoth is docked. Now, I gotta run down here to our battery room and swap out battery. Can't believe I forgot about that. Alright, what I'm gonna do here is actually, we're gonna grab both these batteries. And what we're gonna do is, boom, and then this one can have the dead one. Like so, I do also realize that, yes, that that is taking from my uh, Cyclops. Uh, that is also why we're trying to get the thermal upgrade, so that way these, this power room is more, uh, reasonable. Besides, it's legit just siphoning power off of these now. That's all it does. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I just realized I forgot to unpause. Um, there's really nothing in there. there. I got two upgrades. One of them is for the charging station. So basically, this thing, this is actually really cheap, and I also have a spare repair module. I could legit make that. Cyclops docking bay repair, repair module. That's pretty awesome. Now, what we really would need is the thermal plant. That is what I'm trying to find. Apparently, it's not here. So, let's turn on the engines. I need to figure out now where to go. I need not to hit things like that. Dang. We're at 90% power. I, we're, we should be good. It's just because we have the battery cells going. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to surface, get a track of where the floating island is. We're going to head to the floating island. Okay. Island has come into render distance. Now, again, I said I was going to stop here and we're going to get some bulb trees. Okay. And this is quite simple. There's really like several right here. I'm going to just get four seeds. Now, if you don't know, we can eat these like so. And they give us water and food. That's why I wanted these. They're like apparently really good for that. So, just figured it would probably be best option. And especially since the next wreckage is somewhere technically below this island. A little bit past it, maybe. But we'll find it. We have to go explore it. Because now we actually like absolutely have to. Because we need that upgrade module. Now, I'm just going to place down three pots, like so. Boom. I know, I do know I also have, like, two plants left on me. But that right there, I feel like, should have us covered food-wise. I feel like we're doing good. We're doing real good. I think it's time for a coffee. It's a nice coffee break, you know? Now, if you're wondering where I store all my water, it's in this bag here on the table in the in the inside the bridge it's usually where i keep it it's right here in front of the radio seems how uh, we never use the radio anymore also uh got some simple flasks if you guys really need a cup here for the coffee 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda get to the other side of the island here. There's big rocks falling. I don't know if those can hurt the ship. It kinda looks like they dissolve away, so. And then we're at the center. We're gonna go straight down now. I forgot to make uh, those. We'll get those before. This is kind of the mission where we're preparing to get ready to go into the Lost River biome. That That's the kind of plan here that we're doing. We're just kind of preparing everything. And I think I see the wreckage there. No? Maybe? I gotta be careful here because this wreckage is one that's close to the edge of the map. I don't want to overshoot it by mistake. still going down. Uh, is that it? I see something here. That's it right there. Okay. Now, ghost leviathans are not ultra-aggressive species, so they're kind of just territorial. And you know what the best part is of this? I see two locations where I can 100% hopefully not have to go in and get those. See, there's two spots. But again, there is a warper patrolling this area. So there are some dangers, at least. Now, this time I will at least hopefully get the thermal plant upgrade. Or the thermal reactor upgrade. In the there's one. All systems see. Are you what I needed? Cyclops thermal reactor. Yes. That is the one. Perfect. Alright, we got one more down here. May as well check it. See what it is. Boom. Sorry, the warper kind of uh, distressed me there. He's right there. Just titanium. Ow. Um... Look for some doors. Maybe we can get in this. There. That's a door we can open. Boom. Nice. Um, cut door. Open door. Uh, prawn suit arms, really. Nothing much, nothing much. Okay, the only other thing I can think of would be an option is probably cutting through this door. We'll cut through. All right, and we are through. Uh, empty room. There's not even an upgrade module for us, so we gotta cut again. All righty, next room. Um, we might have a way. Other way, okay. We're just checking here. Let's pull out the scanner. I don't even have the scanner on me. Where is it? There it is. Boom. You never know. There might be something you can scan. Sonar upgrade. Nice. Oh, that's one of the things I was wanting, but I didn't think I would get it until like we got deeper. We already got all the grapple arms, right? Yeah. Um... You need to just be careful here. You never know. This is another cutting room, it looks like. Well, let's just take us out to, like, the first room we were in. Alrighty, we're through. And I feel like I've already been in this room, haven't I? Maybe. Huh. It's another vent. I think I should follow it. It's just like a dead end. Like, what? 
I would at least think maybe a post or something, but no. Alrighty, I gotta find my way back out now. And my oxygen's getting low. Great. Uh, that's just great. I think I remember how we got in here. Yeah. And it's open door. Yep. Boop. There it is. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now, let's get inside the Cyclops. We got what we came for. Let's see what that thermal plant upgrade requires. We should be able to see everything in here. Systems online. Let's go. Okay. Thermal plant. Kyanite? What the heck is Kyanite? And where do I get it? Um, I think I have to go deeper. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to head deeper. I might be able to get a sonar uh, upgrade, though. <laughs>